In today's video, we're going to talk about how to attract customers into your business. Now, many of you who are watching me right now, maybe you have a business, you have a shop, you have a kiosk, you have a, a supermarket, you have a, a building, you have, you have there's something which we're doing, but now you don't have customers. You don't have enough clients to maintain your business. Even, let's say, you are even employed and, you know, you are not doing well. Maybe you are a pastor. Yes, you see, you are a pastor and your church is not growing. You know, also churches can be victim of demonic oppression. Churches can be victim. I've come across many churches who, have, who, are, who, are, who are not growing, who are not stagnant. But by the, by the help of the Holy Spirit, we, you know, we came in, into contact, we prayed and the destiny of the church is open. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to pull customers into your business, how to attract customers. Customers don't just come, they are compelled to come. This is one thing you have failed to understand. The world, life is spiritual. Everything is controlled from the realm of the spirit. Now, if you go into business without the spiritual knowledge, you know, you don't know how to go about things in the realm of the spirit, you'll be a victim of failure. Most of these people own big shops in town, most of these people who have big businesses, you think they are doing good because, you know, they are just, you know, they are lucky. No. There are laws which they apply. And today I'm going to teach you this and your life will never be the same. Watch this video till the end and share it with your friends. This is the video you have been waiting for. Watch this video till the end. Hello my supporters. Thank you for tuning in again. This is Cleophas Wanyama Ministries, Tneo Rhythm. An online Christian media where we travel the world to give you local and international Christian news interviews, commentaries, Bible-based teachings, and gospel music. If you want to donate and support us financially, please kindly use the information on the screen. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share to make a global impact. Let's dive into today's powerful message. All right. How do you pull customers into your business? Customers don't, don't just come. Don't, they don't just come. Yes, you can have a good product. You can have good services. You can have a good business. I've come across people who are good, whatever they are doing. They are, you know, they 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 they, they give they give they give their best in them in anything they are doing. They are they are good. They are polite. They have etiquette. They are polite. You know, they know how they know they know customer service. They listen to their customer. Yet nothing seems to work. The Bible says, it's not by power, it's not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Life is controlled from the realm of the spirit. Now, there is a spirit called visibility. There is a spirit called visibility. I've taught this in many of my videos. I've talked about visibility. Now, visibility lives on the head of a person. Because where visibility is, is your glory. Your head is your glory. It can be your hair. It, if you are bald, it can be your head. This is the place of visibility. Visibility sits here on the head. Now, what is visibility? Visibility is the spirit which compels men to listen to you, to hear you, or to come to you. Visibility is the spirit which compels. It is a compelling spirit. It compels men to you. It compels men to listen to you. It compels men to hear you. It compels men to, you know, to be attracted. It draws men to you. Visibility makes men see your value. You can have value, but that value is not seen. This is a problem. So you, you find so many, you can, you can be a musician. You sing so well, but your music is not going anywhere. You are an actor. You act so well, but nobody is noticing you. You At your place of work, you are doing good. You know, you are the best, but your, your job, your boss doesn't recognize you because they can't see you. You don't have visibility. Visibility, it is a spirit which opens the eyes of people to see the real you, to see your value. It's not enough to have value. It's not enough to be talented. Yes, it is good to be talented. It's good to be gifted. It's good to go to school. It's good to know the, the principles of business. It is good. It is good to know the principles of business. It is good to be educated. It's good to have experience. But now, if you don't have visibility, everything else you have is useless. Now, visibility is what gives birth to favor. Visibility is what gives birth to favor. You say, oh God, show me favor. Favor, what you mean is that God, let them see the goodness in me. 
let let that spirit compel men to love me. You know, there's a spirit. This when the spiritual visibility comes upon you, people are people are drawn to you for no reason. People are just attracted to you. They are just drawn to you. They just love you. They just want to help you. They just want to support you. It's not normal. It's a spirit which compels them. It pushes them. It's one thing you don't understand. That's why you find some people. They, they don't look like, you know, they don't look like it. But see, things seems to work for them. Why? Because they have the spirit of visibility. It is a compelling spirit. It compels men to them. May you have that spirit in Jesus' name. May you have that spirit in Jesus' name. The reason why you are suffering is not because you don't, it's not because you are not good. You are gifted, but you don't have visibility. The Bible says that, and the child grew, Jesus. And the child grew, become strong became strong in spirit and with, and with wisdom and he got favor from God and from men you, 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 you not only need favor with God you need also favor with men visibility is what gives you the gift of men oh may you not lack this gift in Jesus name the gift of men is what makes destiny a reality if you don't have the gift of men, your destiny will just be a dream. It will not be a reality. The gift of men is what compels men to you. Apostle Joshua Selman usually said that blessings comes from God through men to men. Blessings comes from God through men to men. That means your blessing, for God to bless you, God has to look for a man to channel that blessing to you. So if God says yes and a man says no, the answer is no. People say that when Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. It's not totally true. Yes, God can say yes. But God must find somebody who will cooperate for that thing to come to pass. Israel was supposed to, to be in bondage for 400 years. But they stayed up to 430 years. The 30 years was the delay in the preparation of Moses. If Moses, anything would have happened to Moses, the Israelites would have stayed longer. He needed a man. That's why God needs a man. He came to earth as a man. Man, you need a man to help you. You need a destiny helper. And you cannot have a destiny helper if you don't have visibility. Visibility is what open your, opens the eyes of your destiny helpers to see the value in you, to see the worth in you and invest in you. Most of you, you don't need uh, anything. What you need is, is visibility. You are so gifted. You are so talented. You are so powerful. You are so anointed. But you don't have visibility. People don't see it. Even if they see it, they misunderstand it. You know, you can't be misunderstood. You can be right, but misunderstood. There's a spirit which can cause men not to like you. To misunderstand you. The reason why witches shave your hair is they take away your glory. They take away your visibility. So people see you in a bad light. We, we live in a world of perception. Everything is how we perceive it. You know, the enemy what can do? He can create a negative percep perception towards you. So when people see you, they see you in a bad light. They just don't like you. They just need you. They are irritated by you. But you are a good person. Why? You don't have visibility. Visibility changes the perception of people towards you. People begin to see your value. People begin to see your worth. They are attracted to you. They listen to you. People don't just listen to you. There is a compelling spirit. It compels them to listen to you. It pushes them to listen to you. May that spirit be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today, that business will go forward. That your career will move forward. In that place of work, your boss will promote you. That, that business, customers will be fighting to buy your products. I see lines, people queuing lines, waiting to buy from your shop. Because the visibility, the spiritual visibility is coming upon you as you watch this video in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Visibility. The, and the child grew Jesus. And he had favor with God and man. If Jesus needed visibility for him to be heard, why don't you think why you think why do you think that you don't need visibility? Jesus needed visibility for him to function. Visibility is what gives birth to favor. Visibility gives birth to favor. You, you, they say that favor is not fair. Yes, favor is not fair because visibility, it just makes people to love you for no reason. Have you, have, have you ever heard this term, love is blind? It's true. Now, when visibility comes upon you, it makes them love you blindly. People just love you. People just buy your products. They may fight you, but people just love you. Visibility. May you have that spirit in Jesus' name. Now, the, 
when the enemy attacks you they usually take away visibility from you one of the biggest areas where the enemy attacks the stars of men the destinies of men is visibility that's why usually i teach about spiritual bath it helps boost your visibility that's why you should take anoint your your head visibility he anoints my head with oil my cup running over it has to come from my head visibility visibility you need visibility there are people who have been put spiritual veil upon you. the enemy has put a spiritual veil upon you it's like a veil so people don't see your face they don't see your face that's why you are not married men don't want to marry you they just want to sleep you you don't have visibility you don't give wife vibes you don't give wife material vibes you give just more small girlfriend vibes so they just sleep with you after they sleep with you they discard you they don't want anything to do with you anymore because you don't have visibility visibility when they put a veil on you they cover you people don't see you they don't see you you need visible may god may god do any veil which is covering your life may it be lifted in the name of jesus christ any veil any spiritual veil which is covering your face from shining which is covering the glory of god from radiating for you may that veil be removed in the mighty name of jesus christ all right let me give an example um i grew up in winners chapel under the mayor the mr bishop oyedepo and bishop oyedepo used to tell us a story that uh many years ago when winners chapel was, was starting i don't know it was if i'm not wrong it was in in lorin or kaduna i think it is in ilorin if i if not ilorin kaduna one of those two states in nigeria now um there was a time bishop oyedepo says that the preachings were good the, the the word was powerful he was anointed it's not that he wasn't anointed he was anointed he received a mandate from god the power of god was in him but the church was not growing the church was moving at a millipede speed it wasn't growing and it he was bothered he put up a fast in his office not for three a three-day fast him and bishop abioe and you no know, other pastors who were there those are the early days of the church in the 80s in the early 80s they prayed they prayed and then on the third day god revealed to him that on the roof of the church there was like a, 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 a carpet or a dark cloud which had covered the church and when they prayed the cloud was rolled away and went from that time the church received visibility right now as i'm talking to you if when you check around your city you will find winners chapel winners chapel is all over the place why visibility they had to challenge that spirit which had covered their glory which that covered their visibility it was rolled away you don't have to sweat just receive visibility that the, the very place where they rejected you they'll call for you why because they'll see your value there are churches which are not growing because there's a there's a cover it there there's a there's a dark cloud covering you covering your visibility your voice cannot be heard there are so many people who have great potential great ideas they have written books they have music they have great potential ideas when you listen to them you say these people are great but their voice are no heard people need to hear what they have but they are not heard because they don't have visibility that compelling spirit which amplifies their voice which makes their voice to be heard and to be understood that spirit is not there but in this service you are going to receive in this video we are saying service in this video you're going to receive visibility in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the spirit which compels men to hear you now before i go to that i i, I want to explain something if uh, the dangers of not having visibility stay tuned we'll be right back get these powerful three ebooks by clear first when you're mad first one is called the star the mystery behind extreme success this book gives you biblical in-depth knowledge about your destiny and how to restore it and shine in life get to know what god says about stars second ebook is called understanding the mystery of times and seasons here you will get to know about the calendar of heaven and the blessings of each year of your life Third ebook is called Thrones: The Spiritual Powers Which Controls Territories. This ebook talks about altars, gates, and covenants and how they affect our lands. To get these powerful three ebooks combined, donate an amount of 20 US dollars or more to support us. The ebooks will be sent to your email address upon confirmation. Kindly use the information on the screen. Don't miss out. Now, uh, let me give you the story of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior. Now Jesus was taken before the people and people were told to choose between him and Barnabas. Who the, the people chose people chose Barnabas. 
to be set free and Jesus to be crucified. Remember, it was in the set place where Jesus did miracles. Those people saw Jesus doing miracles. Those people saw Jesus feeding 5,000 people twice. Jesus fed 5,000 people. That's men only. If you include women, there could be even 10 or 15,000. Jesus fed them. Where were those people to save Jesus? Where were those people in the previous day who wanted to make him king? There were people who wanted to make him Jesus king. Jesus had to flee. Where were those people? They saw him in the streets, healing the sick. The multitudes gathered. Where were they? Visibility. They did not see the goodness of Jesus. They did not see the value of Jesus. They say, crucify him. The same people who praised him yesterday, he said, let us make you king. And the same people who said, crucify him. Visibility, the perception was changed. But now, this was the will of God for that to happen in, in such manner so that we, you and I, can get salvation. So people's perception towards you can be changed, either positively or negatively. After watching this video, those who had the negative perception towards you, your boss, your spouse, your surrounding, your customers, their perception is going to change. They are going to see you in a good light and they're going to respect you and they're going to call for you and they're going to show you favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, how do you receive visibility? Now, visibility, this spirit, when it comes upon you, it changes everything. It changes everything. Now, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, in this ministry, God has given me the mandate to empower people to fulfill their dreams and bring Christ's influence into the global marketplace. Now, there is you, you, you can bring about visibility by the use of the anointing oil. The Bible says the anointing oil breaks the yoke. Now, the anointing, there is anointing for visibility. Anointing. What is anointing? Anointing is different from the Holy Spirit. You can have the Holy Spirit and not have the anointing. Anointing sets you apart. Touch not by anointing. The anointing sets you apart. It puts you on a, on a pedestal. Anointing puts you on a pedestal. You can be a Christian and not be anointed. That's why you find in all the angels, Lucifer was anointed. The Bible called call him anointed cherub. There is no angel in the Bible who was called anointed except for Lucifer. Anointed. That's why till today he cannot be destroyed. Because he's anointed. He was cast away but he's still anointed. Anointing sets you apart. Anointing sets you apart. Anointing elevates you. There is an anointing which brings visibility. You can have the Holy Spirit, but if you don't have this anointing, it will not work for you. The Holy Spirit lives in you. No, but anointing is what? Anointing sets you apart for a certain function. Anointing brings something extra to you. Anointing gives you an added advantage. That's why you can all be Christian, full of the Holy Ghost. But the anointing separates us. It's anointing which gives us different ranks in the realm of the Spirit. Now, I want to introduce you, there is an anointing which brings visibility. And that anointing, God has graced me with that anointing of bringing visibility. When you have this anointing, it will transform your life like never before. I've come across people who have been transformed by the anointing which brings about visibility. It brings about visibility. It can change your life. It can turn your testimony around. The Bible talks about the, st the story of Job of uh, Jacob in Genesis chapter 28, verse 18. Jacob went and slept on a certain piece of stone. He laid his, his head on the certain piece of stone. And um, he dreamed that angels were ascending and descending. So he realized that was a portal. That was an altar. When in the morning came, what did what did he do? The was Jacob anointed the place, and he said that place. When Jacob anointed it, it was set apart. It was not like any other place. It was a set apart because angels were going and descending. The, the, the anointing came up, up upon that place. Jacob set that place apart. The anointing will set you apart. Before angels were ascending and descending, but nobody knew. But the moment Jacob anointed it, it was set apart. Anointing separates you from the rest. Anointing separates you. You need to be separated for you to be elevated. You need to be separated for you to be lifted. You have to be visibility. Let the anointing of God come before you. When the anointing comes upon you, it elevates you from your in the midst of your peers. Don't allow anybody to 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 
to to to discourage you so that say that you have the Holy Spirit. Yes, you can have the Holy Spirit, but the anointing of the Holy Spirit, those are two different things. Yes, the Holy Spirit gives the anointing, but not everybody who has the Holy Spirit has the anointing. The Holy Spirit is the source of the anointing, but not everybody who has the Holy Spirit has the anointing. Now, we in this ministry we have this anointing called glory and anointing glory oil. By the grace of God, there is power in this oil which can transform your life. When you use this oil, you'll come and share your testimony. It is anointing which God, you know, when God gives you a ministry, he anoints you for that ministry. He sets you apart for that ministry. Understand? So, this ministry of restoration of destiny, that is the ministry which God has given me. Talk about, when you call me, talk about stars, destinies and everything. I'll be here to help you. Now, this anointing, the people who have used it, I've experienced breakthrough. This is a new one which has been given to me. It's called anointing glory oil. When this oil comes upon you, it will set you apart. It will release the spirit of visibility upon you. When you get this oil, anoint yourself, anoint your head. All the tips I've showed you in my YouTube videos, how to use sand and salt and oil. Use this oil when doing it and you'll come and see a testimony. Any yoke which has been holding you down, once you use this oil, it shall be broken. Why? Because it connects you with the anointing of God upon my life. It connects you with the anointing of God upon my life. If you want it, use the information on the screen to contact me. There's information popping up on the screen. Use it to contact me via WhatsApp, via email. Contact me on how you can get this anointing oil. It can, it can be sent to where you are, anywhere in the world. It will be sent to you, this anointing. Well, I'll send to you, I'll send it to you two of these, two bottles of this. Your life will never be the same again. That anointing, when it comes upon you, it will separate you. You'll begin to see visibility. When you have it, anoint yourself, anoint your head, anoint that business. Go into your office and anoint it and release the spirit of visibility. When the spirit of visibility comes upon you, it, it will elevate you. You'll begin to see life is changing in a way you have, to have never seen before so guys this is all for today you need visibility you need visibility they will say that he sent a pro he, he he brought israel out of egypt by a prophet and by a prophet what they preserve the prophetic ministry is the agent of restoration the prophetic ministry is the agent of deliverance the prophetic ministry is the agent of, of manifestation do not wait. Your time has come for you to enjoy the favor of God. I'm Cleofa Swanyama. See you in the next video. Hello guys. I'm Cleofa Swanyama. Clear with you. And today I have a special announcement. Now, we have a vision of building a professional studio. Now, the studio will play a very major role in helping spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, in the studio, we'll be doing recording live recording we'll be recording music we shall have worship sessions so those of you who are at home you will be able to tune us when you're having live worship sessions those who know me for those who are following me for many years they know that i am a gospel artist On the night when he was and god has given me many songs i've written many songs which needs to be recorded and we need to have a studio of, your, of our own that studio will be an altar dedicated unto God because from that studio music will be recorded will be impacting the world locally and internationally apart from that the other use of the studio will be will be used for recording podcasts like these ones recordings whereby we share the word of God where I do my vlogs where we do interviews shall have visitors and it will help to push the gospel of Jesus Christ across the globe so it is very necessary for us to have a professional recording studio now those who are willing to help information is on the screen those who are willing to help contact me using the information on the screen and we shall send you a breakdown of the things needed and you can see how you can support us in purchasing these equipments uh, uh, in one way or another so guys we are we are looking up to you for your assistance. I know God is going to make everything possible. Now, this 
recording studio it is necessary because we are living in the world whereby it is influenced by media it is influenced by music and culture and so many things so as a church we need to have content creating content for jesus christ you know entertainment is is largely used by the devil to push agenda agendas of uh, you know same sex agendas so many agendas are out there but now when we have the gospel also when we have a platform a creative platform whereby we can create content which is bible based christian uplifting content to the world we'll be able to save our children we'll be able to save this generation which is coming because there's a lot of crap out there so guys if you want to support us use the information on the screen it's a down over new day thank you for watching